Hi everyone, today I wanted to give you a tutorial on an idea that I saw on the web um, on how to use our envelope punch board to create these fantastic little matchbox um, gift boxes. So um, I want to give you some dimensions and um, show you how I created this little one here. Uh, it's got a little tray that slides out and I've just popped some little um, earrings in here. Um, really really easy to put together with the envelope punch board so let's get started what you'll do will need for the tray is a six by six piece of um, designer series paper you could also use cardstock if you want and of course your envelope punch board so some easy measuring on this one we're just going to keep it in whole numbers so we're going to start with the first side at two inches here on the left hand side and we're going to punch and score we're going to rotate it 90 degrees line up with the three inch mark punch, score, back down to two inches, punch, score, and finally three inches, punch and score. Now if you have watched anything to do with boxes um, before you'll know that you need two notches on each side if we're going to create some sort of box arrangement. So we need an extra couple of notches here. Easy to do, now hard for you to probably see with this paper, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to line up, you should have a recess here from that very first punch that lines up with the diagonal score line, and your little indicator here will also line up with one of the score lines that you've made already. Once you're in that position, you're going to punch again and create a score there. Rotate round again, lining up with um, score line here and this little recess here, punch score okay so now we have all of our punching and scoring done you can pop the board away and I'll show you what you need to do but you will need the board again in, a, in just a second or two um, actually let's do it now what you need to do is to create the little um, oops the little recess here in the front to pull the tray out on your um, piece that you've just punched you'll notice you've got some long sides and some short sides on the short side here you want to fold over at the very first school line right up the top there give it a bit of a fold down and you're going to put this in the board um, so that this um, score line here lines up at the one and an eighth inch mark on the board so I put it in and I can see my score line lines, lines right up there. Now I don't know if I can show you that. No, probably not. But trust me, one and, one and an eighth of an inch, if you line that side score line up there and give it a punch down, that gives you your recess right in the centre of that side panel there. Okay, now you don't need your scoreboard anymore. Your punch board, you can put that away. What you do need to do though is you need to go in here and you need to make some cuts. We're just going to cut on these long sides. So you end up with um, a series of tabs. So let's fold along these score lines quickly. Okay, so once you fold along those score lines, what you also will need to do, guys, with that very first score line folded down on these long sides, you need to create a second score line. So if you just sort of fold your sides down, you'll get a little sort of second fold score line in this big panel here. So we'll do it on the other side. Fold along the first one and then just push it in as you fold that second one and that will give you those extra score lines that you need. Um, with this one exactly the same, fold down and just hold it there while you push that down and the last one like that. All right, so um, you're going to start to assemble these ones. These ones are quite easy. You're going to put these end pieces um, down and they just sort of get glued along the edges and a little bit in the tray there. Do the same on this end. Just watch that little recess that you've got cut out there. You don't want glue there. It's just going to glue down like that. Oops, perhaps if it's in view. Okay, then I'm just going to put a little bit of double sided tape on the four tabs. Once you've got double sided tape on the tabs, you're just going to fold these to the inside, making your corners nice and square. Okay. 
Okay, so all of your tabs are stuck in. Final is just to place these um, side pieces into your box. I'll just put a bit of extra glue. And you're just going to fold these sides in. Now you could leave it like that if you like, there's some pretty nice, um, a nice little pattern in the bottom of your box. Or if you don't like that, you can put a lining in the bottom. So this little um, piece of white cardstock is cut at three and five eighths by two and an eighth of an inch. Okay, and I find that that's just the right size to pop in this box. So that's three and five eighths by two and an eighth. And if you just pop it in there, now it doesn't go all the way to the edges. You do have just a smidgy of a border that sort of runs around. Let me show you if I can show you. It's just a really tiny internal border there. Um, so when you're gluing it in, you just want to make sure it's nice and centered. Okay, so there's your tray done. Set that aside. Now to create a wrap for the box, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures um, three and three quarters by six and three quarters and you just need to put some score lines in this so let me bring my tray in here move some of this gear out the way okay so this one you're going to put it in with the six and three quarter running along the top edge and you're going to score at one and a quarter at two inches at four and three eighths and that's the tick mark just before the four and a half, so four and three eighths, and five and an eighth. Okay, so one and a quarter, two, four and three eighths, and five and an eighth. Okay, let's take it out of your score tray. I'm just going to fold along those lines. I'm going to fold back this way. Like that, and I'm just going to put some double sided tape on the wider um, panel here, just along that edge there. Now with all of my stuff I like to make sure I have the tray in place um, when I glue the wrap on just to make sure that it's not too squeezy and it's going to fit in nicely. So take your backing off your double sided tape, put your little tray in, line him up nicely. Again I hate trying to do it for the camera and do it so that I'm happy. <laughs> all right so then just glue that down all right so then you've got your little tray it sits nicely in there how neat is that now I will give you the extra dimensions for the top pieces as well guys in case you want to decorate it exactly the same so I've just taken a matching piece of DSP from the drawer here and it's two and a quarter by three and five eighths all right so we can stick that one on All right, so then the, the top little panel that I've already gone ahead and stamped here then is two inches by three and three eighths. And I'm just going to put um, a little length of ribbon across the top of this one. I've already got some double sided tape here. And then I'm just going to finish off with a little happy birthday that I've gone ahead and stamped. I'm going to put that maybe just to the bottom a little bit there like that and um, of course I'm going to put another pair of um, coordinating little earrings in there so they'll just pop nicely in there so there's a little um, a little birthday gift. It does fit chocolates, it fits all sorts of um, um, treats on the inside but the, the little earrings that my sister's been making are just um, absolutely perfect for these matchbox. Um, I will have a link to her website as well if you're interested in these little earrings. Um, Hope you enjoyed that tutorial, guys. Please let me know if you've got any questions. Doing it my way.